When you look at a METAR, you might find a couple different pressure readings. The one you're pretty much always going to find, unless something's broken at the station, is your altimeter setting. And in the United States, that's shown in inches of mercury. Now, you might have heard that that's also the equivalent sea level pressure. And that's close, but it's not quite accurate. And the reason for that is how it's calculated. So to calculate that altimeter setting, the station's going to measure the local station pressure, what the barometer's actually reading at that elevation at that airport. And then it's going to essentially reduce that down to sea level or mean sea level, but it uses the standard temperature profile, not the actual temperature profile for that day. So it's not quite your equivalent true mean sea level pressure. However, that standard profile has one big advantage for us as pilots, and that is our altimeters are all built off of the standards. So that altimeter setting that we calculate, when you enter that into your primary flight display, or you set it in the Colesman window in your analog altimeter, when you're sitting on the ground at the airport, the air will essentially be very, very close to zero. In fact, the closer you get to the station elevation, the smaller that non-standard temperature error is going to get. And so that's why we can use our altimeters to give us essentially that really low decision height of 200 feet on an ILS when we're using the local current altimeter setting.